John Lilly once put it this way, there are no limits at all to the human mind whatsoever, except those we impose on ourselves because of our beliefs. And those limits are also beliefs to be transcended. And that's a view that suggests that the possibilities of human transformation are virtually infinite. That we have no way of knowing the outer horizon of what it means to be human. And really, to understand all this, everything, you have to go very, very deep in, into uh, a study of uh, history, consciousness, neurophysiology, everything. You have, to be, you have to be the supreme eclectic type of uh, leaning, and you really have to be wanting to know who you are and, and what everything is about. The thing that you'll find when you go to sacred sites, if you're very humble about it, is that you are on a personal journey and the sacred site will respond to you in a way that is appropriate only to you. The information is always what you are searching for. And it's the intent you give uh, that energy that defines whether it is used for right action or not. And it is inside these sacred spaces that you will be reminded that you are a god, that you are a bright star. So what you're trying to do is move through the course without ricocheting off walls or creating karma. You're trying to slide through things smoothly. How do you do that? It's called flowing. There is a technique that you can do that will allow you to touch some part of your inner being that has more knowledge than your conscious state does. Hey guys, Andre Hodge, Infinite Potential Healing, Seven of Truth with you once more with the next offering or installment of my Earth Mother Pranic Healing. So I haven't done one since early November. The world has definitely changed and what we've uncovered has definitely been quite epic. And I just wanted to do a little bit of a video intro so you can discern me and tune into me and deceive me if you need. And um, I just wanted to offer this so you can so you can see me, but this is what it's all about, the 12D guys. So this is the mechanics I offered in the previous video. And I want to offer you as a reference for going forward, if this is the mechanics that we can focus on and aim for and get through, all right? So I offered this at the start of Galactic Special Forces Part 16, when I talked about a lot of the stuff that, say, I'd been through and observations and what clients have been through and stuff. and the mechanics of people out there creating things and looking to limit you from that which is your natural state uh, and align with the universe and earth harmony and stuff because if you get beyond that then they have no purpose or nourishment or uh, propping up sort of thing so yeah I just wanted to offer this at the start so you can discern me if you need and stuff and I think it really is that simple alright so just contemplate that, all right? So I would go back and listen to Galactic Special Force Part 16 if you want the mechanics of what I offered there. But yeah, I just, it's February the 5th, my afternoon. Um, it's been a very hectic week and I was gonna look to do some recordings with certain people out there or do a video on that. I wasn't actually gonna do anything if I wasn't feeling on my game, but I'm feeling really good, so. Um, I've just done it and I'm offering you this at the start so if you're new to this enjoy um, it's a lot of fun and I feel very fortunate to be able to do this and don't see it as anything big this is all about us as humanity and our infinite potential and what we can do all right so own it guys and see you on the other side bye
Hey, all you epic reality 12D frackers, how are you doing? It's Andre Hodge, Infinite Potential Healing, Serving the Truth with you once more. And I'm going to get into Earth Mother Pranic Healing Part 8. I haven't done one of these for quite a while, it's like a new world. Um, if you've been with me since then, there's been some astounding uncoverings of the frackery and the mechanics of a lot of stuff and a big shout out to my ally uh, Carleen Tamik who's been um, partner in uncovering the frackery falsehood crime sort of shit of the universe um, so yeah I've done I've been involved in a lot uh, the last one I did was when when was that 6th of November, which is very interesting because I'm pretty sure it was, I think it was 2nd of November where I caught up with another epic being out there that hasn't really been public yet, where in one of the sessions with her I did an infinite potential healing with her and basically what the infinite potential healing is, um, the pranic session at the start is what I call the defensive clearance so we get all the influences ships marine blocks entities whatever um, to make the cases clear and then in the infinite part of the session get in to do the revocation I hold space and then after that it's very clear and it's safe and I appreciate her for investing in me and I actually caught up with her a couple of times since and including overnight and um, or yesterday which is another reason why I'm doing this now um, but yeah, she she invested in me to clear the space, to hold space for her, and we basically did GSF work and uncovered this very, very misguided trap for Magi's who had their souls trapped 70,000 years ago. And what we did in that, when it, the coast is clear, um, I was defending her and holding space and working through it with her and she was freeing those souls that were trapped and they're all soul family or shards or aspects of us and so if you've listened to the so that was a really big profound experience for me and I'm very careful of doing that sort of stuff with people and because of the um, I appreciate her for investing in me to make it safe and uh, doing all the groundwork to make sure she was clear and all that because legit guys it's not your fault um, but say Carleen and myself and these other people that I've been working with we've had to be very careful because people are legit used and weaponized at us so me I don't interact via email or social media the only way you can get to me is when you invest in a session and then uh, I'll engage with you after that. You have to make the choice. I make it a rite of passage and that's the way you'll find a lot of these sort of beings that are anchoring the 12D because that's where it's all at. All right? And that's an image I might be overlaying here that I offered in the start of Galactic Special Forces Part 16 which is the mechanics of it all. All these frackers don't want you to own your 12D and it's easy. It's just once you accept yourself it is that, but they can't get there, so they need to create all these constructs and products and light language frackery and offer you to the star seeds to cap your ability. Because light language, as Carlina said, it locks down your DNA to be in that trap, you know? And so a bit like the shit that's being offered to people thinking that it's put this stuff in the body, it's it's good for you, but it's actually not. The belief that you're doing something good, but it isn't, is keeping you in the below 12D loop, all right? And that's what's going on now, and that's what we've sort of established and holding ground for, and that's why I'm here doing this for Earth. Um, if you doubt that I can do this and all that, that's cool. Go and speak to her, see what she says. She's freaking up for it. And so, yeah, that was a big thing back in November 7th, so I'm just going to do a bit of an overview of what, what we've been through. Um, I've done many... Galactic Special Forces stuff with Carleen. The first big one was early December where we anchored her um, and she got her perceptions going. Um, part 11, I think, was where she had um, she had the key to unlocking all the 
12D sort of information and stuff. So I've, I've showed the images in the past with the natural grid under Earth and that, and it's all been obfuscated and layered with the Kasha Bullishita sort of stuff and encrypted layers, sort of overlays of shit that prevent us tra tapping into the true Earth. So me, one of the techniques I've been doing with people once I've got them clear is I've been actually anchoring them into the true Earth Mother um, pure naked frequency because um, what what we're brewing is to basically clobber all the false grids and shit um, the metaphor of what's been going on from the grid work sort of stuff is you imagine you've got a nice beautiful house or white walls and stuff and you leave kids young kids that don't know anything about life with crayons and markers or textures and stuff and they've gone ballistic with marking all the walls with shit and distorting and fracking up your beautiful house that's the metaphor of a lot of the grid work here and I'm being polite a lot of it is just diabolical bullshit to again prevent our 12d connection to earth because they have no relevance alright so people can make mistakes and you know being influenced by shit and they don't mean it or they can be you can't really you can't really give people that are governed by money and stuff and it a lot of you might be triggered by the money, but, but for me, the greed sort of thing is, Gandhi said, there's enough in this world for everyone's need, there's never enough for anyone's greed. So the greed to me is the all-seeing eye, that's why they're linking up to the US dollar with the all-seeing eye, because that's Yahweh portal to the Weezadak matrix, all right? So if you've been paying attention to the clips I'm offering in a lot of the videos relative to Yashiana, the Weezadak matrix are the upside-down frackers that are really nasty and they're feeding off our universe all right and so things like Yahweh and religions related to that all right I would offer this pattern those people governed by money doing that deliberately negative sort of grid work sort of stuff that are offering products and that to keep you below left 12d they're probably being influenced by the Weezer Act that's the pattern I'm seeing and they may not need it and they may not want to acknowledge it but and they're probably good on the inside and they don't mean it but that's the mechanics I'm seeing all right and they'd rather keep you in the below 12d loop than allow you to be free and be the solution to all this frackery because to me I I was an IT engineer every problem every problem has a solution and it's simple and elegant it's just finding it because the solution might be abstract relative to what you think you know. So that's where being the etiologist, studier of causation, is the key. And devouring knowledge, expanding and integrating the data to have a solid foundation of information to launch a perception from. Because for me, again, I don't know anyone if they had the truth that would ever make a bad decision. We might have this idea of intelligence and all that, but to me, it all comes down to the the limited life force in people that they can't process the volume of variables in any moment. So if you restore people with from the nutritional suffocation going on, you give them their life force back, you remove all the chips, implants, blocks, and network of frackery that's going on. Like this lady, I I did a session on overnight or yesterday, and she. I had a first session with her in April, I think it was April, and after that she got this message on a metaphoric answering machine from Greedy King saying, if you operate with Andre and get his crystals, then I will destroy you and your family and stuff, and that's pretty much what's going on because she's been a threat, alright, and I'm only saying all this now because we had very massive victories overnight and seeing all the frackery of all the players, so I've called out a lot in the last video if you've listened, and um... I'm only calling it out to be defensive because it's been going on for years, all right? So if you've been around since early 2020, you know, when I let it rip, all right? It's all been going on well before then, all right? And that's what Carleen, I mentioned, she's seen it all and she knows it. And it's it's just really interesting. Like I say, I don't interact with people socially or email. I know a lot of people don't mean it and stuff, but a lot of energy can be weaponized and if you're run by this stuff because what we uncovered yesterday was billions are being influenced by 
these hierarchical players and it goes back a very long time and it's not about right or wrong it's about us being able to anchor this this beachhead that we've got the 12D that's pretty much frackery Teflon and they're freaking hating it and all they do is just try and hook us in so if you've you've paid attention and invested and in, investigated thoroughly those Galactic Special Forces recordings since part 10 to the 16 that I released last week one of the big things that Carleen found was she had this ankle weight on her inside of her foot with a Metatron cube sort of thing locking her down and all of these stuff that I've gone through and done with her with them it's pretty consistent across the board so anchoring her in the pure energy and stuff of Earth Mother and Clear uh, that's one of the techniques I've been offering to people who are in the second part of the infinites. It just depends where people are at. Uh, it can be too much and stuff. And I've done some really long sessions and people get really smashed after it. So I just have to measure where people are in that. And maybe it's not appropriate in that time because unfortunately it's my passion for really being honest and letting truth rip with a lot of the frackery going on is just the diabolical shit done to amazing people and I was just laughing I think I'm going to die by astonishment of how freaking awesome people are just and how enduring and epic they are because the metaphor okay, is the multi-dimensional kitchen sink has been thrown at most of us for 400 freaking 20 billion years and that's one of the big things that Colleen worked out that there was a big ambush I think it was in GSF 11 that the scope of this stuff that we've been enduring is 420 billion years and, and that's another part of the healing I've been doing when people are clear um, we've been enduring this for such a long time and so the metaphoric kitchen sink multi-dimensional has been absolutely thrown at people but this is the cool thing guys it might feel like you're destroyed it might feel like there's no hope but say I've been offering my mechanics and what I do is basically like these pranic healings it's just clearing all the shit out of your chakras and stuff and all the frackery gone on and tracking a lot back and it may not be in one session alright but like this lady I'm mentioning but then despite all that frackery that you might have gone lifetimes through or decades through in this lifetime how easy it is to get back up on your game all right so you got to see that my attitude is truth is very elegant and simple and energy efficient the falsehood requires enormous investment to limit you to below 12d all right and don't be too too stuck on the numbers and that I'm just giving you the mechanics of this reality you might think 12d wow that's so big a number blah 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 it's impossible no it's not it's who you are believing that you're not is co-creating the outcome that feeds into all that stuff they don't have it because they're not they're not from source and that's what I sort of offered in that pre in GSF 16 is what I've worked out and I've even been listening to Ashiana quite a bit this week and I love her because tuning back into 20 years ago how dense and crazy it was no YouTube very very difficult uh, many of you may not have been uh, old enough to realise that how crazy it was after 9-11 and the dot com bust and stuff it was very tough and very dark and ominous with war and threats and terrorism and all that bullshit and surveillance and stuff it was freaking hardcore but one of the things I've I've really appreciated and I'm, I've, I actually heard overnight was her role was just to purely report what was off the tablets alright so I offered from my perspective that the tablets were the CDT tab tablets there were 12 tablets and she got like the Emerald Covenant got number 12 back just in late 1999 which was allowing her to go hardcore with the truth alright but you imagine these invaders from another universe that invest enormous amounts of research into control to feed us and stuff making the assumption that these tablets cannot be hacked and influenced that's a 
I, I, I mentioned the IT background. Assumption is the mother of all F-ups, all right? So if you, you're sort of trained to purely reflect off what is offered in them, and the whole invasion that Carleen's identified is not there and omitted, how complete that is, it's a very hard concept to actually go outside the box when you're actually just trying to uncover a layer of what has actually gone on. So I see Ashiana's strategic position is to actually just get a foundation of data so we can actually expand upon it now. So there's all these people with baggage with her and stuff and it's just, it's so boring. Like when I offer clips, it's purely about the data offered. If you're getting into the entanglement of can I trust this person, blah, 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 then you've got stuff that you need to clear, all right? It's purely the information, and I'm aiming for those people that are, are streamlined in their discernment because it's purely the simple data offered in them to to offer as reference when she was doing it, you know, 20 years ago. And when you're talking 420 billion years, 20, 20 years is not much, all right? I used to do mathematics and standard deviation. It's point zero 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 one deviation. It's nothing, all right. So yeah, so um, but do, just getting back to that overview of the galactic special forces, and I don't want this to be too long. I'm aim, my aim here is to incentivize you to go and explore those from a study perspective, like not on your phone, on a computer with notebooks, and take notes and have references so you can integrate the layers offered in all them because even in um, Incarnation War Part 6 I said about the seeding of talented beings and stuff alright so I've used those images and stuff and I'm sort of offering a pattern of what's going on alright and it's up for you to discern it because that intro the Part 16 that I said about yeah the whole 11D keeping us trapped below 12D mechanics is you see the the effort to invest and prevent that and yeah it's when you see that image the idea is to not get drawn up in your lack or whatever how what can you do with that mechanics and you watch what people react to it they will hate it all right cuz they in got entanglements that don't want you to be your pure earth aligned 12d anchoring truth as i said in recalibration to a new energetic reality if you're in the moment with your 12d it's to me that's what my self mastery is all about to anchor me and i think it's a sweet spot of all at the moment we'll see what happens with that maybe more is uncovered and it's all frackery i don't think so all right i'm offering that as a discernment variable but to me that's the way I'm going to live and go forth all right so I invite you to do it so yeah then GSF 12 and 13 where this amazing being out there Annika shout out to you superstar she came through a session that was 11 hours just before Christmas and I had quite a few people trying to reach out for help and I've just been so busy and as I said this lady that she's been messed with for over a year to get her to this point uh, she worked out this massive hive of billions of people all right not just here but through time that are to whole limit them and then their whole hierarchy is thrown at us to derail us all right because there is a war that's been going on we haven't even known it and we've just been letting the fox in the hen house so to speak all right and so there was the pattern just before Christmas and stuff was a lot of people were sort of got into trouble that were potentially messed up trying to derail us if this stuff that we did and Galactic Special Forces Part 12 with Annika was epic working out a lot of what's going on with the ayahuasca sort of stuff and feeding off to the negative species and identifying people that have certain DNA strands who were giving off a signal that were easy detected and then um, the industrial scale of the star seed shit and to mess with people's crowns so influences part three we're talking about these sort of high level beings that have been messed with and had their crown we rewired and stuff and then part 13 we got Carleen in and clobbered a lot of stuff and worked out the conf conflict entity that was an invader uh, that was puppeting 
58 species here, 100 or so, 102 in our solar system, 2,000 in our galaxy, and 30,000 negative species doing all the industrial scale star seed hacking of people's memories and stuff to insert false memory and create the Stockholm syndrome for people to want to leave Earth and stuff and um, be picked up by the negative species in the star seed syndrome agenda which were nothing more than indigos sort of thing so then part 14 14 was a big one all about Venus frackery so if you've gone through my Fly the Echo series then um, a lot of it was about the Ayani massacre and I've actually found some really good audios through Ashiana and I'm, I'm going to look to actually put a couple more on the the page that I offer on my website where you can download a lot of the core history and truth from her perspective including the big galactic stuff with Metatron but then also the the agendas for creating the basically industrial pillaging through time of hijacking our codes to create the skin suit that the incarnation war of these souls so I've got the whole incarnation war series but part six will be pretty good for, for you that are new to all this stuff to go through yeah so it turns out Venus very disgusting diabolical shit was done to her and it's creating distorted relationships for at least 30,000 years ideally I'm going to catch up with Carleen and get into details a lot of the stuff because a lot of the, the revealings came about her being fracked with and tracking it all back and working out the scale of all the stiff and clearing it out so me and my pranic healings I've been clearing since then I've been doing the back of the right hit because it seems to be a portal that is feeding all these negative relationship friction sort of stuff to harvest from us and so yeah it's it's big and my aim here is to actually do it for Earth so I'm going to see Earth as a being like I do many times and clear her back of the hip to clear out all this Venus frackery it's just diabolical disgusting so you imagine a lot of the misguided sexual sort of stuff that puts people together that are meant to be to actually breed children that are bringing through souls of the alien and arc and all that sort of shit it's disgusting disgusting shit and then so part 15 and 16 they were about the false light sort of shit because the invader sort of misguided aspects out there they've been again doing a lot of frackery and, and messing with things and messing with inserting shit into people so the light language sort of stuff locking down DNA many of the concepts that have been seeded into the reality that people just pick up and stuff and just species doing it again alright crazy shit so we uncovered more layers and dusted them frackers and then part 16 was expanding on that because the very next day a lot came back at Carleen. So it was, that week was epic, a few weeks ago now. Aiming to be a quiet week and it was pretty much the biggest week that I had ever. <laughs> so um, yeah, more uncovered and I offered a lot of uh, perspectives in the start of GSF 16 which I invite you to go and explore because I've had personal experience in clearings of people and stuff and the whole open your heart bullshit <laughs> and I've uh, in, the rev in the revocation I said it's like encrypt that precious aspect to you don't let any frackery come in I was advised to help freaking negative species redeem themselves so it's just crazy hey so yeah I'm not wanting this to be too long it's just a bit of an overview and I, they're very long because the idea is that you can be immersed in the energy yourself and enjoy the ride of the real-time uncovery of all the frackery and and those recordings guys that's not Carleen's truth and you you're gonna hear her truth soon all right how she is now because she's evolved a lot and yeah I was sort of brewing to c catch up with her it didn't work out and so it's just offered this space for me to do this earth mother pranic healing which is with all that understanding and acceptance I'm on my game lit like Michael Jordan perhaps we're at like Utah game 6 where all the crowd is hating us but it's like uh, we're about to hit the game winner, winner of the universe and it's we know it, we've got confidence we see it all uh, I've got quite a few very 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 rare talented beings that can see all the stuff going on and I wouldn't say stuff unless 
it's been seen and all that alright so I'm gonna get into this so enjoy the ride guys it's been a while and it's poetic doing this now and yeah I do this in service and gratitude to our amazing freaking badass earth mother whose path has been derailed and messed with and harvested from and she's if you if you listen to the Venus uh, Galactic Special Forces Part f- 14 with Venus her soul was essentially trapped inside her planet and all this fracker is targeting and doing all this distortion to the universe and it's horrible to witness and be influenced to to all this stuff being done and the idea that a planet has to be neutral and shit is bullshit all the neutral shit is bullshit that's apathy that's putting you in an apathy state to be walked over and justify all the bullshit it's um, clear or be eaten that's what's going on and pulled into the, the phantom matrix and all that shit alright so I talked about going into savage mode and um, you know engaging the warrior within and stuff and absolutely not being anything cliche in the spiritual community <laughs> alright because they're all just patterns and bullshit I'm just being my authentic truth of what is needed. It's leadership. And my attitude and hardcore nature is because I'm legit. Uh, A lot of this shit has just been coming at me and it's... I get it. It's just... But it's like... Own the 12D and they're just... They're just like tantruming like little freaking bullies that... um, Don't like getting what they're giving out. Alright? And so, it's going to be glorious. I talk, We talked about Carlene watching the big screen with the multi-dimensional, non-GMO, universal popcorn show. And it's going to be delicious and so satisfying to watch of seeing all this shit unfold. Because all these players, that's why the hate's been coming and stuff. And the limitation and all that sort of stuff. And these, being, these allies I've got around me, they're just freaking hardcore, savage, can see everything and... The unfortunate thing is that we're just good people and we don't play this game and that's where to infinity and beyond number four, the very first recording I did with Carlene, you just got to get into watching sort of shows like Billions or the Ted Bundy stuff. Or I even watched a really good good doco that came out recently on Netflix about Bernie Madoff and just the charlatan Ponzi scheme, intimidating bullshit that he did, you know? to maintain his fraud for 40 years so it's time to be seen (laughs) alright so I'm going to get into this so my intent here is to be an ally to our freaking amazing patient earth mother who's been waiting for this time potentially for a very very long time and in many ways been a prisoner to her own space of witnessing all this bullshit I'm in savage mode, clearing out all the shit, so all all the experiences I had you, with you guys in sessions and stuff, and all the, the Galactic Special Forces stuff I've ever done, and with Carlene recently especially, I would highly recommend really studying the last three months since the last release I did of this, and just really see what you gain from it. I'm not here to influence anyone or anything like that, I'm anchoring the 12D potential from my perspective I wouldn't be doing this without enormous responsibility and anything that's influencing people that is I'm going to more operate with people's oversoul sort of thing so if they want me to do it in this then I'll uh, just be an anchor for that I had to clear the Aurora Borealis yesterday doing this session on this lady because she worked out and I know Carleen's identified more uh, hacking into the dream time she worked out the fantasy body sort of bullshit astral attacks and that's why I did part 16 and offered the heart space stuff ooh inside right left ankle um, yeah so I did cleared out the aurora borealis again yesterday um, so yeah I'm just going to focus on this and get into it so I just need to get into my zone so if you've done it if you listen to these and you've gone through sessions or you listen, I'm just going to do a sweep of the whole planet and then I'm going to sort of see 
I'm going to work on Earth Mother's spleen, front and back, and then I'll do the back of the hip and her parasympathetic medulla and tailbone. But then I'm just going to go over the planet, all right? So enjoy the ride. So I'm just going to sweep the planet. Absolute dilly gaff for anything that's influencing people, any infrastructure and all that that's limiting people. It's not a violation of their free will, but the perpetrators are violating us. Any of the star seed bullshit, any of the. I'm going through the core of planet as well, so anything in the core from the inside out. So I'm going to do the Aurora North Pole. So anything messing with people's dream time, hacking, especially any people with 12D potential that's locking them in. All that shit's been sent back to them. So I'm going to work on the South Pole. I'm just going to go once over. I'm not going to spend a lot of time because it's just I'm coming savage lit mode. MG, <laughs> game six winner at Utah. It's just the, the focus and there's no time. So I'm just going to see Earth Mother's front spleen. you have to realize guys these guys these opposition they will not let up they will not rest they're like terminators all right they have their agenda they don't give a really sh shit about us i wonder how they'll feel with earth prime with life force nourishment energy trying to do their shit ah, not going to like that are ya I've been interacting with Earth five people helping them connect and anchor like I did with Carleen so she's lit so I'm going to do the back of her spleen so you guys are welcome to overlay but I'm not going to let any of your shit in if you try and tangle with me, um, trust me, I've been dealing with worse than you. <laughs> but yeah, what's been uncovered is the hive, like, if you guys have watched Halo and the Covenant had those tentacles sort of freaking shit, it's a bit like that with billions of people being used and puppeted towards us to mess us up. So there's been a real effort to grind us down. And so that's why I've set up my construct and I've been sort of advising these people to have the similar sort of construct at the moment, to be fortified and anchored and ready to go, like Edge of Tomorrow with your bazookas and your katana, ready to chop. You might not like these language that I'm saying from a spiritual perspective, but it's what's required it's not what you need it's what's it's not what you want it's needed okay and shifting your views and attitude based on the data and experience not armchair general sitting in the background like commenting and all this so I'm gonna work on a tailbone legit in the field okay So 
So let's remove the valve of the 11D frackery to let it all be seen. Okay? Because once people have that visceral. Alright? So all these billions of people that have been influenced by this disgusting manipulative hierarchy of tentacle bullshit feeding in. Alright? They're all going to see and witness it all. Alright? I'm going to work on a medulla. So I do the parasympathetic with people. So the medulla and the tailbone. If you haven't done it yet, plastic bags of two cups of salt, crystal salt. I usually get Epsom salt and Himalaya crystals. And you do them the tailbone and the back of the medulla. So I'm working on Earth Mother's medulla right now, which is the back of the neck, head, those two th spots in the parasympathetic are where we can get hacked. So things like heart palpitations, adrenal triggering, fight or flight sort of stuff. All this shit can be hacked, guys. It's, the system knows us so well. So a lot of what I clear is the acupuncture points, meridians and stuff. So you could have two or three hundred meridian points blocked. So there's all these detours and roadblocks for your life force to get nourished so I'm going to do her parasympathetic and um, you don't even know what you can do or what's going on and so when I'm clearing the like pranic healing is really awesome MCKS pranic healing it's all over the world all right so all pranic healing it's not doing anything to people all right it's just clearing out the chakras so that they can flow so the spleen front to back is like a universal uh, USB power up port to all the energy are all in the universe and a lot of entities can be in, just like octopus sort of stuff can be in through the meridians and just have a tentacle that's tapping into your spleen it's limiting your life force so I'm going to do the back of the hit this is the venus stuff alright so there, there was a whole grid network and shit put on earth that insert stuff into us you imagine what it's like to be fracked with with a distorted planet for 50,000 years or however long <laughs> and witnessing all the beings on your planet get distorted messed up to breed shit on you <laughs> talk about an infection alright as I said in that I think it was part 16 how many fracked up relationships do you think you've had on earth in the last 50,000 years that have contributed to all this feeding of all that disgusting network so this is separate to this one I've said overnight all right? how about we remove all that freaking infrastructure off the planet and let earth be free of it feeling a lot right side of the heart inside forearm no more relationship frackery distorted stuff so I'm going to work I usually start with the US so I'm going to do the whole North America from the Arctic down to Mexico so I'm going to start the north east of America New York and all that around there because politics and money all down the east coast of the US North America. So I'm going to do Central. I'm going to work West, all the way from Antarctic, Canada. Feeling a few spots in my body. 12 D it is anything less than that that's doing frackery to anyone. Or the freaking child border harvesting 
distorted sexual sort of frickin' shit. Evan Almighty, you falsehood guys, and the truth will come out. Freudian slip, city. I'm gonna do the west coast. Do Brazil, like South America, distortion down there, big time. So you do the middle and west of South America. Do the Atlantic Ocean. I'm not going to spend too much time. I'm just going with the attitude I've got and just trusting that I can clear it through time and stuff without entangling with it too much. So I'm doing all the North and South Atlantic. So I'm good at UK. No more frackery over there. and Ireland English Channel so I'm going to do all of Eastern Europe from the Arctic down to the Meridian uh, the Mediterranean Finland Norway, Sweden, Holland, France, Portugal, Spain, no more crayon shit distorting people, brats. So I'm going to do Germany. Poland, Austria, Switzerland, Italy. Messing with the grid. Going to Eastern Europe. All the way down to Turkey. East Ukraine and Eastern Russia. The Black Sea. Messing with the grid of the whole earth, disconnecting people from it. Well, that's not 12D, is it? Bad luck, back of the left shoulder. So, anyone being violated for their true, authentic earth connection, return to the originator a billion times. All the stuff that Rush is trying to get out to people, what's been going on, clear. So I'm going to do all of Russia and all of East Central Asia. Down to Pakistan and India, Afghanistan. So I'll do the top of Russia down to 
the equator from the North Pole, all the seas, Japan, Korea's, Vietnam's, Thailand, Philippines, Singapore, Malaysia, Borneo, Guam, Philippine Sea, South China Sea, into the Pacific. Why? So do the South Pacific. So I'm going to do New Zealand. and do the east coast of Australia all the way down to the Arctic and the Tasman Sea Focusing on Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra. Might go to the political centres at the end. I've got the Brisbane, that region as well. All the main populous areas of Australia. I do Central Australia, all the way down. New Guinea so we'll do the west of Australia <laughs> Indonesia Timor Do the Indian Ocean So I'm going to do the West Africa or East Africa all the way down Central Africa from north to south. So do the east, north, the northwest, I mean. I'll do down to the south. So do South Africa. So I'm going to do the, Meridian, uh, the Mediterranean. So I'm going to do Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, Israel, Egypt. So do Afghanistan, Iran, Iraq. No more cube shit. And do Saudi Arabia. No more box shit. Yemen. Le 
left knee. Ooh, that felt clear. No more Metagree Frackery for us. See how that goes. Growing points. Clearing on my head. I think it's been influencing the clouding judgment of people. And so I'm going to do Pakistan and India and Afghanistan. I'm just going to go back to New York and Washington. So I'm going to go to Silicon Valley, San Francisco, California. Truth is the only expression authorized in our reality, falsehood, costs, influence, return to sender a billion fold. I'm embodying the energy of the revocation as I do this as well. So if you guys have done it quite a bit, you can just tune into when you do it and engage it and have it as a frequency in you. So I'm going to go over to London and Brussels and all that sort of corner of Europe. So I'm just going to do a sweep of air. I'm not wanting to this to be too crazy. Don't really need it to be. Once you know the mechanics of things, everything is effortless. Uh, it's easy to deal with than people. <laughs> it's all the whole Yoda thing bring the X Wing out of the the swamp. It's like there is no size, there is no distance. There is no time. I'm just doing the Aurora again. No more Dreamtime frackery. Anything below 12D that's messing with people. Denied. They keep coming back and doing shit. And we keep uncovering more shit. And all the violations this is accruing. So I'll just do the South Pole. So I'm just going to see Earth Mother as that being on the top sort of right that I have as a physical form. I'm just going to switch, go over her spleen to re-nourish her and where are the benefits of it as a byproduct. So I'm grateful for her, for her trust and uh, just here in service to her to help facilitate her original incarnation intent if I'm Authorized to do it, left shin. Do the back of the spleen. Because I know some stuff is brewing, guys. Alright, that's why I'm clearing the pot for that. Okay. So just do a tailbone. Medulla. Might do a base. This is Earth Mother's sexual base. Breeding. To the back of the left, right hip for the Venus stuff. I'm 
I'll just do a sweep. Sweep back. Sweep front. So yeah, I had just releasing this at a weird time, but I'd just been a bit busy and been a bit careful with my energy, but we've had a lot of awesome revealings through sessions and the level of fracture going on, so from my intent, I'm here to just clear the path for people and their potential and what I can do in service to Earth, it's no big deal. If you've listened to the Galactic Special Forces stuff in the past, we've done sort of this sort of level of stuff and see the stuff we're clubbering a lot of the negative species this is what humanity are in the universe guys this is what you are all right so i hope you got a lot from this and i hope if you've been a student of the recent releases especially those three months you've gained a lot out of it and shout out to all those new people that are coming through see how you go guys it's interesting times and it's a bit poetic doing this so We'll see what brews. I don't really want to talk about future things until they're done and stuff, but obviously there's some catch-ups and maybe some interesting conversations to be offered based on people with very high awareness sort of thing. So until next time, guys, lots of love and hang in there and keep it simple and just really study that image relative to the 12D and the whole... It might seem really simple and stuff, just... Just hold that and then witness people and see what they're doing, trying to hook people in and stuff. The whole exopolitics, sort of people calling out sort of the shit that we're doing and that. It's, they're in fear of us. They need us. They don't, you don't need them. And it would be a terrifying thing for it, it to be revealed that, that your nourishment is to be lost and seen what's been done. So... Yeah, just appreciate what you've been through, alright? 420 billion years. The metaphoric, multi-dimensional kitchen sink for a very long time has been thrown at you, but how simple and easy it is to get back on your game and how good it feels to be clear, alright? So until next time, guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for allowing me to be a part of your journey as well as Carleen and what we've released. And until next time, lots of love, guys. Andre out. John Lilly once put it this way. There are no limits at all to the human mind whatsoever, except those we impose on ourselves because of our beliefs. And those limits are also beliefs to be transcended. And that's a view that suggests that the possibilities of human transformation are virtually infinite and we have no way of knowing the outer horizon of what it means to be human. And really, to understand all this, everything, you have to go very, very deep in, into uh, a study of uh, history, consciousness, neurophysiology, everything. You have, to be, you have to be the supreme eclectic type of uh, leaning, and you really have to be wanting to know who you are and, and what everything's about. And the thing that you'll find when you go to sacred sites, if you're very humble about it, is that you are on a personal journey, and the sacred site will respond to you in a way that is appropriate only to you. The information is always what you are searching for. 
And it's the intent you give uh, that energy that defines whether it is used for right action or not. And it is inside these sacred spaces that you will be reminded that you are a god, that you are a bright star. So what you're trying to do is move through the course without ricocheting off walls or creating karma. You're trying to slide through things smoothly. How do you do that? It's called flowing. There is a technique that you can do that will allow you to touch some part of your inner being that has more knowledge than your conscious state does.